good morning children let us discuss about the geography lesson 3 mineral and power resources in previous class i have told you about the conventional resources in the conventional resources what we have learned about firewood fossil fuels and in the fossil fuels also again what we have learned we have learned about the petroleum natural gas and hydro electricity also hydel and next today let us discuss about the non conventional sources of energy the increasing use of fossil fuels is leading to its shortage so it is estimated that if the present rate of consumption continues the reserves of these fuel will get exhausted so what the what we are using the fossil fuels it is going to be exhausted and also the when it is going to be exhausted or and, and also when we are taking out the minerals from underground earth to out so it is going to be completed and also that these resources to farm it is taking the millions of the years so we have to use very carefully also moreover their use also cause environmental pollution the conventional sources of petroleum diesel natural gas and all what we are using it is going to be complete also and also the it pollutes the atmosphere also therefore there is need for using non conventional sources such as solar energy wind energy tidal energy which are renewable so when the conventional resources are going to be completed and when it is going to be exhausted all these reserves so one the one more route we have to search that is only the non conventional sources of energy instead of the these conventional resources we can use the non conventional what are they conventional sources of solar energy like a power we can be use it wind energy and tidal energy which are the renewable what do you mean by the renewable resources and the renewable resources it today we will get and when it is going to be complete again it is going to be farmed for example the solar energy today through the solar energy we get the uh, power and also the again if it is going to be complete tomorrow also it is going to be renewed so that example of the non conventional sources of energy is solar energy tidal energy wind energy also let us learn about the solar energy sun's heat and light energy can be felt by us every day solar energy trapped from the sun can be used in solar cells to produce electricity also by using of the solar cells they can be produce the electricity many of the cells are joined into solar panels to generate the electricity also when it is going to be generate the electricity and again the power we are going to be use it in your textbook also in your picture they have given the solar panels how it is there the power for heating and lighting purpose and what what purpose we are going to be use the solar energy for heating and light purpose also we will be using this energy technology of utilizing solar energy benefits a lot of tropical countries that are blessed with the abundant sunshine so the areas which is located near the equator the equator means it is the torrid zone which is having the more heat and also that through the 
these areas and also some of the countries they get the more sunlight so from the sun they are preparing the solar energy you know some of the countries blessed with the sunshine also solar energy is also used in solar heaters solar cookers solar dryers besides being used for community lighting and traffic signals also so how we are using the hydroelectricity and other uh, conventional resources even non conventional resources also it is renewable resources and we are using in in many purposes also so the using of the solar energy and also preparing of the solar energy also it is a more useful for day to day life also next one is the wind energy wind is an inexhaustible source of energy wind windmills have been used for grinding grain and lifting water since times immemorial so the wind energy also can be useful in modern time windmills the high speed winds rotate the windmill which is connected to a generator to produce electricity you may have seen when you are going from one place to another place or if you are going from the your place from galgali to bijapur also you can see in between the some of the windmills how they are rotating also it is rotating by rotating it gets the power also the high speed winds rotate the windmill which is connected to a generator to produce the electricity wind wind farms clusters of such windmills are located in coastal regions and in mountain passes where strong and steady if you observe where we can see all these windmills also especially we can find out in a coastal areas where the more wind comes and also in high mountains also the high mountains the wind because of the wind it generates and it gives the more energy also the wind blows the wind farm are found in netherlands germany denmark united kingdom united states of the america and spain are noted for their wind energy production also <coughs> so some of the wind energy sources the wind the wind energy sources in which country it is available more also so the main the wind energy producing countries are the especially germany denmark united kingdom united states of the america and spain are noted for their wind energy production so children so the above completed part of the lesson so in a homework book you how to write the one mark questions what do you mean by the mining and shaft <coughs> shaft mining drilling and also that what is the difference between metallic and non metallic minerals about the conventional source of the energy also just you can write in a notebook by reading and forming of the questions one more questions just you have to write in a notes so let us continue in the next class by learning of the nuclear power thank you